to another episode on Mama Ninja's Kitchen. So guys, I hope each and every one of you is doing abundantly great, having a great week as we are approaching Easter celebration, which is the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. So guys, I am so happy. It has been a really exciting week. The preceding weeks to the Easter, March, April has been a blast, guys. Hope you have been coming in in the house. Please remember to do drop me a note to let me know of your presence in the house. You know, so I can accord you the privileges that is due you. Okay, um, hit that like button. And subscribe if you have not already done so so guys yes welcome back to another great episode i have a plethora of easter video relating to home decor ideas various setup from tablescape to vignette to the lantern to the base guys check it out check it out i am sure there is something there for you because those videos were made specifically for you so check it out and um, hopefully you will find something there that really resonates with you and you can run with that idea make it your own and create something beautiful changing your everyday into an elevated life of luxury low cost luxury so guys, today what do I have for you? Well, I have had an electric kettle that I've had in this family for maybe, what was it, two to three years. It has paid its due cost. So um, it start, I started to notice, you know, the bottom of the interior of inside the kettle, the interior surface, the bottom itself was starting to peel. And guys, you know, that can be a risk to anybody's health. I wish I had saved that kettle before tossing it away. You know, I just, um, I realized even after washing it, it was still brought to my attention that it has some brown particles at the bottom that is bleeding into the water. Hmm. Guys, we just have to be careful in this world what we ingest. You know because you don't know what those properties are made of and those things are not meant to be consumed it can cause harm to the human body so um, I just want to advise you take a minute look into your kettles um, your water kettles you know your teapots if you notice any is it condensation any um, or biodegradation going on, um, rust going on, you know, toss it away. You deserve better than that. Because we might, I wanted to use it longer. So what did I do? I actually washed it and thought that that would take care of the problem. But it did not. It continued to bleed into the water or the particles continued to release into the water. So I just got upset and tossed it in the trash. Then two days later, I'm like, huh, you know, I could use that as a teaching moment for my followers, but I didn't save it. I wish I had saved it. So you will actually have a visual, you know, display of what I'm talking about. But I hope you get a message. So today, what do I have for you? So. That was a prelude to what we're going to be talking about today. As you can see, I have two buses, one, two buses here beside me. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the replacement tea kettle, as well as an upgrade, a new toy in my kitchen. <laughs> so guys, it's not only the boys can get some toys, we ladies or men mm -hmm. because what i'm gonna talk about is gender neutral okay so i'm gonna be talking about 
Do you see that sign? Automatic, electric, make frotting. Uh-huh. Isn't that an upgrade? I am so excited and looking forward to that, guys, to have that experience, to be able to create the frothing of the milk using that in my coffee or in my tea, or just having a cup of warm, frothing milk by itself. I, that is totally to me, that is a game changer. <laughs> You can see the excitement that I am having. It's like a child with a huge candy, candy, uh, candy jar. Yes, can't wait to open one each of those candies to see what is actually inside and how it tastes. Mm. Ah, yes. So let's talk about the kettle first. I've always wanted a milk frottier, okay? So, um, because I am changing out my kettle, um, my daughter mentioned to me that I can actually get a frottier machine, you know, at an affordable cost. So I Googled, and guys, they are not that expensive. You know, sometimes we just think that those things are for high-end luxury people, but it is not. They are actually made for your convenience, for your comfort, for you to have that elevated, elevated, okay? For you to have those elevated lifestyle and the comfort of your home. Not only when you go out on a, on a cruise or when you go out on a, on a resort lifestyle experience, no, or in a hotel, no. Can you, the question is, can you afford that daily living? The answer is yes. We just need to put a little effort and interest into it. So I guess I'm talking to myself and to everybody else today. So guys, because this item, this make for you, Guess how much it is? I will try and give you the exact price, but it is quite affordable. It is worth about thirty dollars. And if you are one of one of those coffee lovers that like to start by Starbucks or any of those um, um, coffee shops on your way to work, do you know how much you can save? You can save a ton of dough in a year. And you can repurpose that savings to something more elaborate, something more luxurious, something more, 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 more meaningful. It could be, okay, a thought just came to me. How about you invest in this and whatever savings you get from that, guys, all the daily coffee that you purchase, subtract your expense for these two items, and then, how much you would have spent in a year buying those coffee cups daily? Do the maths. And whatever difference is in it is, invest that in a trip on you, on yourself. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Creating those special moments, meaningful experiences in your life by making simple, affordable changes can actually afford you a life of luxury, a life of beauty and comfort in your own home. And as a matter of fact, in your own kitchen. So guys, today, as I said, automatic electric milk frontier by Hadden Ale. We're going to be looking at that. This is gonna be the first time I'm going to be unboxing and using it so we can have that shared experience. You can actually see how it works. So hang tight guys, because you're gonna go through this process with me because I have not used them before, really. No, I haven't. I've not really read about it either. But so this is a journey for both of us. <laughs> I just happen to have the items. 
so you walk with me and please be forgiven if I make any mistake this is my first experience there has to be some room or opportunity to learn to make those mistakes and rise above those mistakes and the other machine that I'm gonna be talking about here today is Kosori let me turn the front so you can see it better here we go Kotsuri Smart Electric Gooseneck Kato. Hmm, that sounds like a mouthful. But the key word that I want you to see there, right? First of all, before even opening up this kettle, what do I like about it? Why did I choose to buy this? One, I was looking for an electric port, electric tip port, that's one. Two, but that didn't drive to my decision of purchasing this. So I'm going to let me list them in hierarchy of um, of um, interest. Okay. So being an electric kettle, that is just something that I was looking for. Okay. And two, it must be the gooseneck. There is something about the gooseneck. You know the experience of using that gooseneck, having that just pure swing flow from the kettle. Something about that, no splashing. You know, it is a controlled movement of water. I like that. I like that experience. And the color, really, I was looking for something mixed with gold. But those were just too expensive in the 200s 300s this was actually um, less than 80 dollars so i opted to have it in black black i have um some metals um some of my toys existing toys in the kitchen are already black so this can blend into that although well, i will make it work <laughs> how about that and save that money all right and the top of the list that actually drove me to purchase this kettle is the fact that there is a smart, smart electric, smart. What does that mean? It means it is programmable, guys. It is programmable. You go to the apps, Kosari app, download that apps, and you can program your kettle to boil your water anywhere within 12 hours. Oh my God. So let's say for instance, I'm going to, to bed tonight and I like to have my cup of coffee raw ahead out of the door. I don't have a maid, nor do I have a cook, but I got myself one in this kettle for sorry. All I need to do is program my app and then program this kettle to heat up anywhere from 12 hours. So I can be going to bed at 10 p.m. and then program it to start heating up at 6.30. Because at seven, I wanna be out of the door. To heat up at seven, 6.45. So why I am still in my bedroom, getting dressed for her, this teapot has gone to work. I don't need to set any reminder. No, it has gone to work. It has boiled the water and it can even set it to maintain that heat until I come downstairs, cook up my cup of coffee or my tea and be out the door. So that is a life of convenience absolute convenience guys so another example on a cold winter day you are coming in from outside and we all know how we get we want that something hard to warm you up from inside because it is freezing freaking freezing cold out there so i can set up before i hit the road i can set up the sorry to heat up in if my commute is gonna be 30 minutes to start heating up in 25 minutes, so that once I walk into the door, guys, I don't need to be 
filling up my character to do some heating. No, the water is heated up at the right temperature. What does that mean? Does, does, does temperature matter? Guys, consider this your discovery <laughs> because it's a discovery for me and I'm sure it will be a discovery for some of us as well, okay? Consider this your discovery because believe it or not, there is an absolute correct temperature for coffee for you to prep your olans, for you to prep your green tea, and for black tea. Those various type of tea, they have, there is a research done. When will you get the most out of those teas? At certain temperature peak. And everything is pre-programmed in this Cossary Electric Smart Gooseneck Kettle. So guys, I cannot wait for this experience. So this has been a lot of talking. It says, can be conveniently controlled with a basic app. Customizable, my bro present is complemented by four precise temperature that are available, which are the ones that I just talked about, the olans, the black tea, the green tea, and coffee. So guys, brew the smart way. So a disclaimer here, I have no connection with Kosari, none whatsoever, but I think if this toy, this piece of instrument is going to enhance my life the quality of life that i live considerably on a daily basis why not share it with my community so that you guys can also make those small investments to have a huge benefit from it creating your everyday life of luxury all right guys now Let's open this up. When you open it up, you have this card here. Um, join to join, kind of with an invitation to join the Kusuri family. Um, I will be going online, you know, just to get to know more about their products and what they have to do. So when you join the Kusuri Facebook community, you are not just a member, but part of the family. The Kosari enjoy direct support, original recipes from the Kosari kitchen, and exclusive information from the Kosari team. So I will be exploring that because they also have other additional products aside from the tea kettle. So here is the manual. So manual for the Kosari. So now I'm going to open up this bus to see this baby together. When it comes to size, this is one liter. Because it might look quite small, but it is one liter. So we are going to do the reveal. this baby guys how you like this do you like the shape mm -hmm. as I said it holds up to one liter 
okay and it has the line for Massimo feel for the water so it doesn't boil out or boil over you know the black color it's kind of like um matted lacqua black it has a glossy some gloss and my glossiness to it and this gives that whimsical feel yeah it just does me something you know having this right here you know the craftsmanship is just mm. <laughs> I like take a look at inside okay you can see it is all silver silver made of silver metal and that would help with some um, conduction, heat conduction. Can you see those vents? Okay, there you go. For excessive steam to come off. Look at this touch of silver, you know, and the attachment to, to the main part itself. And it is ergonomically friendly as well. You know, look at that. See how the handle is built? Ergonomically friendly of the kettle it comes of course with an electric cord for you to connect it to the socket and there is a hole towards the back where you can lock the cord in place so let's just take care of that right now i'm pushing that in okay so it is flat on the surface and here are your different pre-programmed settings. For green tea, it is set to heat up that water. So let's for instance, I want to prep green tea. I push the button for the green tea. If I'm heating up a long tea, green tea setting is at 180 degree Fahrenheit. A long 195, coffee 205 Fahrenheit and um, boiling and black tea 212 fine right and you can also customize that if you don't want this temperature um you want to do something lower heat lower temperature you have the ability to make those changes those customization in the app as well and look at this it is connected to bluetooth of course that is why you are able to use the smart functionality of the kettle and another function here is the hold temperature so let's say for instance um, you set it five minutes and you have a delay you just go back to the app and hit the hold temperature to hold that temperature for you and you can also cancel if you're no longer interested in that um, in heating up your water so guys what a convenience what a convenience that is so let's see how does this baby work when you put it so together how does it present compared to the other size of kettle that I have which I believe was like 1.6 liters this is really small in size so it's not going to take up um, counter space, not at all. So here we go. So we have the base and the kettle. So that's that's it, guys. That's it. So it doesn't take up so much counter space at all because, as you can see, it is larger at the base. And then tip us off. Um, definitely, guys, I'm going to be listing the link to this Kusari uh, pot tea kettle, smart electric tea kettle, in the description bar. So if you are interested in trying out this pot, the link is going to be available for you. At the click of the mouse, you will be taken there. And um, please purchase through me because I am linking you, bringing this information to you and linking you to Amazon to make the purchase. It will not be any extra cost to you. 
Okay. This is now, let's bring out this cup, the pot in itself, okay? See, I got this also in black and silver. So I believe this comes in white as well as in red. But since my kettle was going to come in black finishing, I also purchased this in black finish so it can coordinate, you know, out. You want to think about those things, color coordination. If you are doing one metal or one color lacqua, stick to that. If you are combining two, let's say a metal, either in um, gold, copper gold, gold, copper, or silver, stick to that and the color finishing can either be black red white but you want to stick to one color scheme okay one color scheme and one choice of metal heading in for your machine yes it's just like a jug okay so let's open up it has this plastic cup let's take that off and see what we have in here so it does have the heating elements. I believe this are extra heating elements. At the base, you also have those. So that is really cool. So this is a replacement piece. So in case this something goes wrong with that, you have this for replacement. So you wanna keep this in a location where you can access it. To complete those replacements. It does have lines inside. It has maximum for the whisk and maximum for the frotting. Another good thing guys, let's say for instance it is summer and you want to frot your, your milk but you don't want hot milk. You want it to be cold milk. You can frot without heat. And to do that, hit on this button right here. But if you want to frot and heat up the milk, you're going to use this one. So guys, isn't that so cool? You have that option. It's a clear top, so you'll be able to see the action of what is coming out. And I like the weight to it as well, you know, a little bit of weight to it, so it's not just some light, light, light. The pots onto the base. I like it. I will even like it for the milk frotted from it. Wow, there are other things here. So you have this uh, leaflet instruction. It's like a um, open up cards, right? Instruction for different um, frotting of the milk. And there is this tool here, guys, um, that came with it too. So you have this, it's not that coarse, but it's soft foam sponge that you can use. That's a great idea. So you don't have to be digging your hands in there. You use this to clean around, you know, the whisk, the whisk element and the heating element there. All right, I think we are set. We are set. All right, guys, I want us to go through the electronic uh, set, setting up the app the Vensic app together and the Vensic app is for the Pusari. So I'm going to be using my phone, of course. So there is um, a scanner right here. You can see the scanner. So I'm going to go to the camera. Using your scanner and your camera to scan that barcode, it brings you to the, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it to the Vinsic Smart Home, okay? Bring you to this page right here, Vinsic Smart Home. So then you want to download the app, of course. So now I'm going to download the app. It's downloading, has downloaded. So Vinsic would like to find and connect to your device on your local network. Okay. Welcome to Vinsic, upgrade your home by transforming into a fully connected smart home with Vincent. Sign up, so first time here, put in your email and password here for verification purposes. So that opens up, once you enter the code, it opens up this page, add device. Go to the device section to add your device. I selected kitchen, on the kitchen, 
you have the different type of devices that they use neck kettle with select press and hold my bro for five seconds until it start blinking all right guys welcome to my tea and coffee bar blessed of course i love that affirmation because coffee or tea it is something that i will take multiple times in a day so this kind of um, having this here recenters my world it reaffirms to me that i am blessed and for me to also be a channel of blessings to order and that is one of the primary prayers that i have always prayed in my life a channel of blessings so guys, check out my video on coffee and tea bar setup so you can gain some tips on how you can put together your own luxurious, comfortable tea bar. Right here, so you have the Kosari, um, of course, Kosari Smart Electric Kettle. And here you have the Make Frontier. And of course you have my various tea blends, collections of candies, Home rest, tea cups, and deco pieces. Okay, here is the button for my brew. So I'm gonna hold that for five seconds. Give your device a unique name you will remember. Give your device a unique icon. Alright, so here is the icon, the picture that I took for my device. So that's my unique customization icon right there. It has the glow of that um, lantern on the back. It's quite user friendly. Hmm. Choose your temperature manually or choose a preset. So let's go with a preset. Okay. So you can do delay start. So delay start is also an option. You can do a start now. So delay start will give you that option to set hold temperature and adjust the hold temperature time. So, but we want to do the start now. Choose your custom my brew temperature to use the my brew button on the base. But we want to go with the preset. So, we want to select. I'm going to make coffee. So, I'm selecting my coffee button, the preset coffee. So let's hit start. Aha, the magic is happening, guys. The magic is happening. The temperature of the water is heating up. Aha, do you see that bar moving? The late start is that will enable you to pre program it within 12 hours for it to heat up your coffee for you at a later time. That is the delayed start function. So you can see the temperature is increasing. It is now 150. So it's going up to that 205 precise temperature for a delicious cup of coffee. All right, guys. Thank you for riding this journey with me. I hope you are gaining some valuable information in this experience. Oh, we're just having some good girl old time. So guys, I am going to be ending this part one video here. Um, swing into part two where we shall actually brew up our delicious cup of coffee and you can have in that ah, shared experience. <laughs> oh mine, oh mine. Yes, yes, yes. Meet you in part two, guys. Mwah.